Blighty Boxing in association with Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions. We're down on the quayside in Southampton, Batten Box Gym, to catch up with the Piranha. How are you, Ryan? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. Thanks, you? Very good. Well, considering at the moment everything that's, everything that's going on, um, let's take you back to your last fight, your big comeback fight against Jamie Quinn at the York Hall a few weeks ago. What have you taken from that? Oh, see, it was a good fight. He was even naturally much heavier than me and that, do you know what I mean? So, it was, and the main thing was, from that fight, I got the rounds in. And if I'm going to, what I want to do this year, progress, is start taking up the rounds, like two eight-rounders, and potentially a title, title fight by the end of the year, I've got to get these rounds in the bank just to get my body prepared for it. So that was the main thing, just getting the rounds in and that. But it was obviously, it was good where he was naturally bigger than me, do you know what I mean? He's, been, he's fought people at lightweight, super lightweight, etc. So to fight someone like that, it's good, do you know what I mean? It was good. In our last catch-up prior to that fight, we went through everything that had occurred for you on a personal level. Did the fight serve to sort of remove a few demons? Were there any sort of nerves going into it? Oh yeah, that's the main thing. It was just proving everyone that I'm back. Like a lot of people that doubted me didn't think I'd be, I'd maybe get back in the ring again. So it put a big, uh, put all the doubters to bed really. And from me, I want to move on and get back onto it. You talk about other people and doubters, but what about yourself? Did it remove any lingering sort of uh, fears and doubts from your own mind, proving to yourself that you could do it? Yeah, like I say, it proved to my, I wanted to prove to myself, because I, I knew it myself, I mean, I've been telling them, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm back, I'm doing everything. So it's just to prove to myself, really, but I kind of, at the same sense, didn't have no doubt that I would be back, Jeremy, because that's just me, and I knew I would, and it's all I know, and I, I'll carry on from it. Watching on from the sidelines, I mean, it it looked like you'd lost nothing. Like you say, you was up against a heavy old opponent, but um, you had it all your own way in there. Would you have liked a little bit of a trade up, or was that the perfect comeback fight? No, I, I, I was I was fuming. Like even to the rounds out, I was like, like waiting in at the corner. I was like, it's just boring. I was like, because you know, like they're not opening up. I was like, he's, he's, he's just got a solid guard. It's not affecting him because he's naturally bigger. He's got he's got a tight guard. It's it's not as exciting. I was like, this is boring. Like I wanted someone. So hopefully this year I can start actually fighting people who will come and give a go a bit. That's, and that's when I think you see the best of me, and I'll start hurting people. Do you know what I mean? Because once they start throwing back, that's when you make a miss, and you actually start hurting people because otherwise they're not expect. Whereas if they're just tucking up, you're not going to get through much, are you? What did Jason, the matchmaker, say to you afterwards? I understand, but he said, yeah, yeah. right. We'll get moving with you now. Yeah, like you say, I've got a lot of time to make up for. So he said, just hopefully the next one's going to be eight rounder, which I'm looking forward to stepping up. That's why it was a good thing to get the rounds in. That's why the sixth round. So I stay with the eight round and then just go from there. Really start getting a better, bit better opposition. Someone who's going to challenge me. Do you know what I mean? So that's the main thing. That's Do you feel like you know it's a the old clean slate now and you oh, yeah. just working hard and getting on with it like, as, as before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, from here now. This is it, do you know what I mean? This is make or break, as you say. So from here, it's just all go, all guns blazing. It was great, actually, but you were um, first fight back, given a TV slot to remind everyone that you're still about. Oh, yeah, exactly. like, like you say, the main thing as well, a lot, a lot of people can't make it, can they? So the people, if they didn't see me actually come back and fight, did it happen? If you know, if you don't see it on TV, it doesn't really happen. It don't, it don't sing in people's brains. Like they, they ain't seen it for themselves, so it, it's like brushed under the carpet, but at least they got to see it that I am actually back. How's life for you now? I mean, um, we've talked about you working before, you're hod carrying, you're obviously still doing it. Um, how's that been after sort of the high of getting back in the ring to shoving bricks on your shoulder? Yeah, no, I, I don't mind it. Like, this is, I've had other jobs and I, I hated it, do you know what I mean? Like, I dread getting up and that, but like, it's good, it keeps me focused, you know what I mean? Like, Routine, that's the main thing with me, and it gets me a really good routine. Go to bed early, wake up early, and it, yeah, I think it's doing me the world of good, if I'm honest. An income as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, steady income. So there's nothing more depressing. If you ain't got like a steady, you got no money, it's depressing, isn't it? So like, it could lead you straight, but I think it's doing me good. How is it on that front at the moment, when we all know what's going on in this country and around the world? What is the building trade saying of the hog carrying? Are you obviously carrying on at the moment? Yeah, yeah, everything's all right at the moment, do you know what I mean? But like you say, every day that keeps going now, it seems to be this is shutting down, this is shutting down. So I, I think 
I hope not, because I want to carry on working and earning money, but I think it's just only a matter of time now before that. I reckon by the end of the week, the site will be closed and that, which is shit, really. How dispiriting was it for you as a young fighter, desperate to make up for lost time, to see all the April and May shows cancelled? It must, it's, it's not great for the fans either, it's not great for anyone, but what's it like for you as a young young? Fighter? Uh, like you say, my aim this year, get the first time away, and then start pushing, pushing on. Do you know what I mean? Like I've got a lot. Of, I've got some time to make up. And then this is another thing. So no, like it's just with me. I just ain't got no luck. Do you know what I mean? It's one thing after the other. But it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? It's destiny in it. Everything happens for a reason. We we'll see. How would a piranha Ghana cope with self isolation? Uh, mate, I, I like watching movies. That to be fair. I, I, so I wouldn't mind it. Do you know what I mean? I love watching TV. I, I watch series like all the time. So I, love it. so I don't feel it'd be that bad, do you know what I mean? You sleep for England, can you? Nah, like you say, I used to. I used to be like, I used to not be able to go to sleep till like, gone 12 every night. So like 1, 2, sleep till God knows what time. But now, like I say, my routine now, with where, even on my rest days, I'm up by half seven without an alarm. Like, that's, do you know what I mean? I've just got such a routine, so I don't feel I will be sleeping in. So what's Wayne saying? Um, is he just going to keep the gym open, ticking over for a little one until told otherwise? Yeah, I guess, like, like you say, that, that's with a lot, lot of other things, not just the gym, but other things in life, shops, etc., businesses. They're going to keep flowing until, because everyone needs money, everyone needs to do their stuff, don't they? You need to crack on with life, Jeremy. You can't stop for the world, can you? But when they do, eventually, if they do, close it, well, you've got no choice, the government say, the government say, do you know what I mean? But hopefully not, just keep ticking over. Like I say, even if, they say it's, it's the public gatherings in it like over a certain amount of people so with Wade where it's his gym even if you get to see it one by one then you still get the work done don't you so it's a win-win great stuff well Ryan it was uh, fantastic to see you back the other week back to your old self and still still looking the part so uh, we'll catch up very soon cheers Rich